Good day everyone, this is our chapter 3, Total Hydrostatic Force on Surfaces, Buoyancy. From Problem 1, a cylinder 4 meter in diameter, 8 meter long, and weighing 24,000 newton floats in water with its axis vertical. An anchor weighing 48 kilonewton per cubic meter is attached to the lower end. Determine the total weight of the anchor if the bottom of the cylinder is submerged 6 meters below the water surface. But before we start solving our problem, let us first take a look at this picture shown in the screen. So what is buoyancy? Buoyancy is a principle discovered by the Greek scientist Archimedes, stating that if an object is submerged in a fluid, then the buoyant force acting on it is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by that object. Buoyancy, or a thrust, is an upward force exerted by a fluid that opposes the weight of a partially or fully immersed object. Buoyant force exists because pressure increases as an object goes deeper in a fluid, which in this case is water. Due to this, the force from the pressure exerted in the downward direction on the top of the object is less than the force from the pressure exerted in the upward direction at the bottom of the object. In other words, an object experiences a buoyant force because the more submerged part or the bottom part of the object is always deeper in the fluid than the upper part. It is the force that opposes the weight of the body by pushing it in the upward direction. As you can see from the illustration given in this video, there is an upward force pushing the object upward opposite from the force given by the weight or by a weight applied by the human. So, to solve from this problem, given that the diameter is 4 meters or the radius of 2 meters and length of 8 meter, weight given as 24,000 newton or the 24 kilonewton, weight or the specific weight of 48 kilonewton cubic meter, submerge of 6 meter or the depth below the water surface. We all know that the formula for the buoyant force is equal to the buoyant force is equal to the weight displaced. So, we can expand this formula as the area times the depth times the specific weight is equal to the area times height times the specific weight and the specific gravity. We can use the equate this continuities formula which is the buoyant force 1 plus the buoyant force 2 is equal to the weight 1 plus weight 2. So, in this part, we can plug in the given numbers from this problem. So, it could be the buoyant force 1 plus the AD or the volume times the 9.81 kN per cubic meter is equal to 24 kN plus volume times 48 kN per cubic meter. After this, it is also obvious that we have the missing numbers or variables which is the buoyant force 1 and the volume from the both sides. So, the first thing we should do is to find the buoyant force 1 by the formula buoyant force 1 is equal to the area times the depth times the specific weight of the water. By this, we will multiply pi r squared times the depth times the specific weight which is pi times 2 meter times 2 raised to 2 or and then multiplied by 6 meter and multiplied the specific weight 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter and finally we can get our buoyant force 1 which is 739.66 kilonewton next of this is plug in all the answers that you have get from your solving. So we can have now 739.66 kN minus 24 kN since we transpose the like terms or the, the same variables and units of the problem. This equals to the volume 2 times the 48 kN cubic meter minus volume 1 times 9.81 kN per cubic meter. And get the answer 715.66 kN is equal to the volume displaced times 38.19 kN cubic meter. 
To get the answer of the volume displaced, we need to first remove 38.19 kN per cubic meter on the right side by multiplying it both sides by 1 over 38.19 kN per cubic meter. Using this, we can cancel 38.19 kN per cubic meter and divide it by 715.66 kN. So then, our answer would become volume displaced is equals to 18.74 cubic meter. Cancel kN. And finally, we can now get our weight to by the formula area times height times specific weight times specific gravity or the volume displaced times specific weight, which is then 18.74 cubic meter times 48 kilonewton per cubic meter with the answer as the result by 899.52 kilonewton. To check our answer if we got it right, we can all plug in the numbers using BF1 plus BF2 is equal to the weight 1 plus weight 2. With this, we can get the answer and have the answers with both sides equal and congruent. And that will be all for our chapter 3 topic of buoyancy. Thank you for listening.